I am in Penrose Country Park, which is in Hollyhead on Anglesey. You can hear the aeroplanes from the nearby RAF base, RAF Valley, going overhead. But I'm currently wandering round a beautiful country park and it is just, it's breathtaking to say that this is so close to a big port town where all of the ferries to Ireland go across. It's just absolutely incredible, let me show you. I mean, walking around here, I've seen robins and tits and my bird identification is terrible, <laughs> as you all know, but I'm trying. But the one thing that there is here in this woods is of course, red squirrels. Something that I find very difficult to say. <laughs> now, red squir squirrels were once abundant on Anglesey as one of our native species in the UK. But of course, the introduction of grey squirrels brought squirrel pox. And once they, uh, the grey squirrels made it across the, the Menai Straits, across the water over here in the 1970s, the populations of the red squirrels plummeted. Um, now, the work of the conservation work um, around here has been absolutely incredible. And they brought the the, they've brought the population back from less than 40 um, red squirrel individuals at one point to now it's a thriving population again which is really closely monitored and closely protected so I have found this nice spot in the middle of all of the trees and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here for a while there's a few squirrel boxes around I think I'm going to sit here for a while and see if I can see one because I've only ever seen one red squirrel in my life and that was in Plesnewe, um, also on Anglesey. So I'm very excited and I will, of course, let you know if I see anything. Wish me luck. I have just caught a glimpse of a red squirrel just in the distance over there. I just saw its red tail um, going out of sight. So I think I'm gonna hang around here for a little while and see if I can capture it on my camera. Oh, I'm very excited. Now, of course, uh, squirrels aren't the only thing I'm looking for today. Um, I'm here to enjoy everything this area has to offer. And I found these uh, snowdrops. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Galanthus, I believe is their name. I think there's about 20 different species of these bulbous perennial plants. And they are a winter plant. They grow between January and March. But I fully see them as a, a sign of spring, a sign of new life and a sign of brighter days that are coming our way. Um, I found this beautiful pond area which has got loads of ducks. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, you can hear those aeroplanes from RAF Valley again in the distance. I just want to show you the absolute beautiful diversity in this one place that is so close to a, a really big town. It's so exciting just being here with no one else around except the aeroplanes, you know. <laughs> and just immersing yourself in nature is nothing better, nothing better than just doing this. I could do this all day, every day. It's amazing. So Penrose is a 200 acre area of natural land and of course being situated in Hollyhead, the woodland is the wall that this place has to offer, of course. We have these expanses, beautiful clean beaches and it's so peaceful, it's clear that the few people that are around here are all here for the same reason, all here to just get in touch with nature enjoy being part of nature, which of course we are. That's the reason I wanted to uh, sort of bring you on this walk with me today, was to just show you 
some of the things that are on offer to us in the UK. We're extremely lucky in the UK, I think, to, to have such a diverse collection of, of species, both plant life and animal life. And I think, I think it's very easy to forget when we get caught up in the hustle and bustle of, uh, of our urban lifestyles. But I just think sometimes it's just really important to wherever you live, whether it's a, a tree in a park or or a, a bird that comes into your garden, you know, it's, it's important just to find that one, one piece of nature that you can connect with. Ideally on a daily basis, as often as you can, but it really, really helps you to remember sort of what's important in this world and the importance of, of protecting this. Look at it. Well, unfortunately, that fleeting glimpse of the red tail was all I saw today uh, in terms of red squirrels. But as you've seen from these short, shaky pieces of uh, phone footage, there is so much to offer here, so much to see. I'm just walking past more carpets of snowdrops and there's so many winding paths and old buildings to explore. And plant species and bird species and it's just it's a really exciting place someone actually recommended this place to me the other day and I thought um I thought you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna go and have a look and I'm so glad I did it's definitely somewhere I want to uh, bring the kids back somewhere extremely peaceful where they can just be in amongst the trees and on the beach and really immerse themselves in nature which as you know is what I'm all about but anyway I hope you wherever you are you are having an amazing day and you can find time to connect with nature in some way. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will be back with more ramblings very soon.